Well, hello everybody. I'm Chris of Bladlands Ballistics. Got a really fun project we're working on today. This is the Ruger Wrangler side-in project we're still working on. Hopefully you guys seen the previous video on this. I, I took quite a bit of material off this front sight. Um, got the point of impact elevation-wise about right. It's still shooting quite a bit to the left. So I am going to tackle turning the barrel. I actually tried to find any YouTube videos on turning the barrel on a single action revolver. Not much out there. So I thought, well, what the heck. Honestly, I've had quite a few Ruger Viqueros over the years, um, guns like that, and I've actually been scared to turn the barrel. I'm a little scared of it today, but let me let me get into it. So I've used calipers, measured the barrel diameter, it's about 770 thousandths. So what I'm gonna do is cut a couple blocks of wood with a three quarter inch drill bit, 750 thousandths, slightly smaller. Um, got a big old vise here on the bench that we're gonna, uh, we're gonna give it a shot, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't have a lot of money into this gun, so to me it's almost a learning tool. Um, I'm excited about it, but uh, you know, I mean, I've been around mechanics enough to know that this little bit of thread, what I'm gonna end up doing is getting the barrel clamped in the vise, pretty solid, putting a tool in there and turning it. So just so we're clear, we're looking at the gun, right? And it is shooting to the left. So I need to rotate the barrel to the left, which will put the front sight essentially on the right side of the barrel, talking the extreme here, and that should get the gun to, to point of impact more to the right. That's what we're hoping for. So uh, I'm not gonna video all the stuff. I'm gonna just take a couple blocks of wood, cut them, drill a hole in them, and uh, I'm not gonna video any of that business. That's simple as mud for that. So anyway, we're gonna get the, the tool built and uh, we'll see if we can turn the barrel. Okay guys, well I put the, or I got the blocks hole drilled in them. I actually went the 5 8 hole and uh, it, it doesn't fit in there perfect, but I think that uh, this soft pine wood, this is just a pine, you know, one by material. Um, I'm gonna put it in there and I'm gonna be able to cinch it down. And I think the pine's soft enough that the, that the actual 5 8 hole would be better than 3 quarter. We're gonna try it, see. So what I did here, another question is, is how do you decide how much to turn it? So I put some tape on it. You guys can see the Sharpie mark on there. Um, I'm gonna go maybe about, I'm gonna say, I don't really know, 50 thousandths. That Sharpie mark is, is a little wide. My thought is if I can go about half or maybe that full Sharpie, I'm not really sure. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the wind is blowing, I don't know, 30 miles an hour outside right now. It is miserable. We had a big rain last night and the sun's out and the temperature's pretty nice, but the wind is just howling. So what I'm hoping is that I can get the barrel turned a little bit and then we can go out and give it a try. So I'm going to get it put in the, put it in the vise and make sure we turn it the right way. So here we go. We're going to go over this again. So the gun is shooting to the left. So I need to turn the sight to the left, which means I've got to hold the, the barrel stationary, turn the gun clockwise. Hopefully that's right. Okay, I'm gonna, I don't know, this is, I've never done this before. Um, I don't know if you guys ever watch Mark over at the Cinnabar. I mean, this is what this guy almost does for a living. He's got the right tools. I'm hoping I can make shift with the tools I have. I don't know how tight that feels pretty dang solid to me. I'm just gonna grab something, maybe even a piece of wood or something, stick in there, see if we can get her turned. Found a little wooden handle, or a hammer, so, the wooden handle. We'll see what happens. I hate to say this, I'm a little nervous. I don't know what's gonna happen.
Okay, so that tells me that it feels like that's pretty tight in there. The gun slips in the wood pretty easy. We'll cinch down that a little bit. There again, the barrel's just moving inside the wood. Okay, lessons learned here, guys. I just grabbed the grip of the gun and went to go counterclockwise and the uh, frames threaded right off the barrel. I just went, you know, of course, quarter turn, I can tell it come loose. So now I'm trying to tighten it and that's what I need to do is tighten it just a little bit more. So I think we're gonna get it. I think we got it. Well, I'm concerned about going too far, but I, I'm not, that wasn't too big of a deal. So I'm gonna show you guys the marks. See how the, the marks on the tape, the Sharpie marks are about lined up. When I, I had a little bit of that tape in where the wood is and it moved that just a little bit, but I watched it when I turned it. So I, and just by looking at the gun, if, I don't know, it feels like the side has moved a little bit. So the beauty of this, I am not scared of this anymore. Um, I'm going to go shoot it. I might even just put a warm hat on and go fight it out in the wind and see if I can see where this guy's shooting because I am almost 100% confident I moved it. So, you, you heard me say almost 100%. So if we go over there and it's shooting further to the left, you'll, you'll know I didn't get it. But honestly, it, it moved fairly easy. I'm shocked. So anyway, we'll, uh, we'll continue on. And the next time you see me, we'll be at the range. We'll see what we can do. Okay, well, we got the Ruger Wrangler out to the range. We're gonna try to do some uh, groups with it. So the last part, or the earlier part of this video was a couple days ago. The, the wind is just blowing relentless around here. So it's a no wind today. It's cold as all get out, but uh, no wind. So hopefully we get some good groups. I think I've got enough time today. So we're gonna shoot a three shot group of this guy. Uh, of course, we're using these Remington bullets. For whatever reason, this Ruger likes this Remington. So when you use the same ammo, and I'm going to shoot a three-shot group, and if it's off, we're just going to hop in the buggy here and run back to the shop and try to try to move it. So here we go. Let's give it a shot. All right, let's walk up and look at the target. Well, all right, you know, once in a while, it's nice to have a little bit of success. The group isn't great. We're going to shoot another group just to make sure of it. So here's one, two, three. Left and right, if you guys remember, I was almost a foot to the left. Elevation's about right. We're gonna mark those. Okay, you guys know I'd much rather be lucky than good any time, but we're gonna, we're gonna call that pretty successful. I hope I can do it, you know, I shot some good groups with that gun. I'm not sure what that flyer was, but uh, we're gonna give another three shot group, but man, we might be on the brink of success here. All right, let's go and have a look. Well guys, I might've shot a quite while ahead. Here's one, two, three. So I still don't think that there's anything wrong with the sights. I'm gonna call this a little bit of a flyer. We had five out of six here, left and right. 
yeah I, I mean that's a flyer that's a flyer um i'm not sure what's going on with my groups today all right guys well i'm gonna i'm gonna shoot a couple rounds down or a couple rounds at some steel downrange just to have a little fun but i'll tell you what i cannot tell you how excited i am I'm going to call this a complete success. I mean, yeah, I didn't have the, the best groups I've shot. You know, I've shot some pretty good groups with this little guy, but I moved the sight. I moved the barrel. I mean, that is so far out of my comfort zone that I can't even tell you. You know, I've had a lot of Ruger uh, Vaqueros over the years that have shot left or right that I've used for cowboy shooting, which, you know, wasn't accurate. But, you know, I ended up trading all them guns off. I just, the uh, without them hitting right on point of impact, you know, I just couldn't get excited about them. But for a really cheap gun i don't remember exactly what i paid for this but it was slightly more than a heritage um i've heard the heritages are good but uh you know this was well under 200 dollars. and probably the reason that who the original owner uh got rid of it is they couldn't hit with it it was shooting about a foot to the left and about a foot low um yeah i mean it's hard to hit anything accurate with that so um i am can't tell you how excited about it this is going to be kind of my new go-to trail gun I've loved that uh, single six, but that thing <clears throat> is a fantastic gun, but it cost about three or four times what this one costs. And um, it's it's a little heavier, it's a little bigger, it's got a longer barrel. This is much more compact, handier. Uh, this is gonna be the gun that's gonna be with me. Um, I'm just grateful that I was able to get that barrel turned. And for me, I'm excited. I mean, that makes me tick, that kind of stuff, that it's so far out of my, comfort zone but yet i i thanks to youtube i watched some videos on doing it there's not many videos out there but i didn't know how they use the barrel wrench with the wood and i and i mean i learned that through the internet um so i am just super excited about this i'm gonna go ahead and just empty a cylinder down range and uh, we'll probably get it wrapped up for today We better shoot one more round. I had a few misses there. All right, we're gonna try one more cylinder, see if I can get a few more hits out of that. All righty, that was a little bit better, so. Alrighty, we're gonna wrap it up for today. It's a little bit longer video, but uh, I'm really excited about this gun. Um, you know, I'm gonna say, guys, it's got Ruger Wranglers or those Heritage with uh, the thick sights, and you got one shooting off. Man, it might be worth taking a look at uh, rotating that barrel yourself. I know Ruger will do it for you. Of course, that's a big headache to send it back and forth, but anyway. Alrighty, we're gonna wrap it up. So thanks everybody for watching. Please subscribe. Have a good day.